What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Finally sitting down to talk all about my favorite denim, my favorite jeans. I feel like this is one of my most requested video because I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I am a jeanaholic. I love buying jeans. It's one of my favorite things. When I find a good pair of jeans, truly nothing makes me happier. I feel like if you're going to invest in anything for your wardrobe, it should be on a good pair of jeans because you can wear them every single day with all different tops, all different accessories, and get so many different outfits. But with that being said, some of my absolute favorite jeans are my more affordable ones. So I have jeans at all different price ranges. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. I've been a huge fan of Audible. I've been a huge customer of Audible for a really long time. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you are interested in. Audible is the home of storytelling with all of your audio entertainment in one app. As an Audible member, you get to choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the new releases and bestsellers. Members also get full access to included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. I am not someone who really listens to music. I am someone who loves listening to audiobooks and podcasts whenever I'm cleaning, whenever I'm in the car, or whenever I'm just doing like work on the computer. I always have an audiobook or a podcast playing, and I always, always listen to my audiobooks on Audible. A lot of the times when I'm in the car or if I'm getting something done around the house, I also want to be learning because I don't really enjoy sitting down and like reading a full, like a business book. I really enjoy enjoy listening to those. I've talked about so many that I love on my channel before, including Unshakable by Tony Robbins. That is like one of my all-time favorite books. One of the audiobooks I just finished is called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. It's a book about negotiating. He was actually a hostage negotiator, but he implements all the things he learned in that situation into like real business and life situations. And let me tell you, I learned so much. Also, I don't know if you love Colleen Hoover as much as I do, but she just released a new audiobook called It Starts With Us. It is the sequel to It Ends With Us, which is one of my absolute favorite books. Also, as I mentioned, there is an included section on Audible where you can listen to as many audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals as you like, so you can really discover some new things that you might really enjoy. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days if you go to audible.com slash Tony or text Tony to 500-500. All right, so now let's get into my jean favorites. There's a few key things I look for in denim. I feel like denim can be a little bit of an overwhelming thing because you don't know which denim is worth splurging on? Is spending two or three hundred dollars on a pair of jeans going to be worth it? And if you are going to, which one should you splurge on? So I always, okay, I always recommend trying jeans on in store or making sure that wherever you're ordering from has a good return policy. So with Revolve, they actually cover the return costs. So you don't really have to worry about not loving the jeans because they have the returns covered. I feel like jeans are so personal. They need to fit you just right. So even though I love these jeans, just keep in mind, they might not work for everyone. And I also want you to keep in mind that I am five foot one and these are all short girl friendly. Okay, so let's start with the affordable jeans that I wear the most. My favorite brand of affordable jeans has to be Zara. For the price, you cannot beat it. H&M has some good denim also, but I just feel like when it comes to the quality and the color and the fit, Zara just has it down perfectly but with that being said even if it's the same style if it's a different color it might fit completely differently sometimes i'm a 32 in jeans sometimes i'm a 38 in jeans there's no way of knowing what size you'll be at zara but i've come across my absolute favorite style of jeans they are the straight leg high rise cropped jeans i actually have them in three colors i just absolutely adore these jeans. They are the most flattering, the most comfortable on the daily. These are the jeans I wear the most. I am the biggest fan of straight leg jeans. I don't really wear skinny jeans. I don't really wear that many pairs of baggy jeans. So this is what they look like. Of course, I'm gonna try them on for you. And they are, I wanna say, like a mid 
wash. Recently, I've been getting into darker wash, but a lot of my jeans are on the lighter side. But I've been loving this like mid-wash denim. I do like some distressing on the jeans. If you were going to splurge on one pair of jeans, I would recommend getting some with out any rips in them. I feel like those are more versatile. You can dress those up a little bit easier than if they have a bunch of rips in them. I recently bought them because I love them so much in this lighter wash color but without rips on them. And with these, I actually did cut the bottoms off and I did like a little bit of a step cut where it is shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. I have a pair of a Goldie jeans which are similar to that so I copied it right from there. Sorry, I just got a new camera and I turned the skin smooth effect off because it was it was a lot and then I also picked them up in a darker wash I've been loving darker more saturated denim but again they just fit really perfectly and if I had to recommend one pair of jeans from Zara they would be these sticking with more affordable jeans but these are a little bit more expensive these are some new jeans I got from super down the wash of these jeans is actually what made me fall in love with them they're a little bit more of a skinny jean but not completely skinny as you can see the wash it's just really really beautiful got these in a size 25 I'm pretty much a 25 across the board unless a pair of jeans is extremely oversized or they run really small I'm pretty much a size 25 if you are short like me and you want your leg to look a lot longer even though crop jeans for every day with like loafers and sneakers are what I tend to gravitate towards and what I feel like looks best if you're wearing a pair of heels or if you're wearing a pair of boots I like getting a longer pair of jeans because it just really makes it look like your leg is so much longer it can add like two or three inches to how long your leg looks another place I love shopping for more affordable denim is actually princess Polly they have really really good crossover jeans so these cross over like this you'll see it better when it's on and what that does is it really brings in your waist and accentuates the smallest part of your waist I love when really good basics just have some Something different that makes you look twice and for me this little detail at the waist really does. I completely forgot to mention while filming that that I absolutely love the 90s jeans from Abercrombie. They're definitely on the more affordable side but the fit is so nice. Probably exactly like my more expensive denim and they are incredibly comfortable. So these are the black version. They go to the perfect length. I got the short version, but they also have a regular length and a tall length available. If you were to ask me what's the best brand of denim that is not too expensive but still feels really luxurious and the quality is amazing, I would say Denim Forum. So I have two pairs. I actually just picked up a pair I'm going to show you, but my favorite jeans are the Joni High Rise jeans. I feel like these run really oversized so I actually picked these up in a size 24. In terms of um, flatteringness on your butt, I wouldn't say these are top. I would say that a Goldie jeans are the most flattering on the booty and these are not that flattering on the booty. They're just a good classic pair. The wash is really nice and for the price, they are definitely comparable to more expensive denim brands on the market. All the details are really nice and they have such a wide variety of denim that you can pick from different washes, different styles, different lengths. And then the new jeans that I got are the Farrah High Rise Wide Leg Jeans. I just picked these up and these are extremely wide legged. So I got these to wear either with a pair of heels or booties or even just having them kind of like slouch over a pair of sneakers. If you're looking for a more affordable version, Abercrombie has a pair of jeans just like this called the Loose Fit. I know these are technically not jeans, but I had to mention them because they are just the pants that I wear even more than jeans. I wear them on the daily. You can wear them during the day with a pair of sneakers or you can wear them at night with a cute pair of heels. And these are the utility pants from Aritzia. So I actually have these in three different colors. This is the newest addition to the family, but I also have them in black and I have them in the birch color and they go with everything. They are just literally the most superior pants on the market and they are in like a denim -y kind of material. I just love them so much and I had to give them an honorable mention. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure there's even 
a video of me on the internet where I said I would never spend $200 on a pair of jeans. And you know what? I don't think it's necessary. I do not think it's necessary to spend that much on jeans when there's so many more affordable pairs on the market. But if you were looking to splurge in a pair of jeans that would be extremely flattering and that would last you for years. I feel like a Goldie jeans and girlfriend denim jeans will last you a lifetime. Just cut to the chase. My favorite pair of a Goldie jeans are the Riley jeans. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying that these are cropped, so on me they go to the perfect length. If you're a short like me, whenever you're shopping for denim, try to look for the word cropped because that will just mean it's actually the perfect length on you. These are my number one pair of jeans because of how flattering they are. When I tell you a Goldie jeans are the most flattering on your butt, they just place the pockets perfectly to really like lift and accentuate your booty. No one wants their butt to look like super flat in a pair of jeans and sometimes jeans just really flatten your butt out but these, okay, make you look like you have a butt even if you don't have one a nice round one and these i got a size 25 and they fit perfectly right after the wash they are a little bit tight but these do stretch okay a goldie jeans definitely stretch a lot they're also very comfortable so i just love these and they don't have a raw hem but they're still my favorite. What's amazing is that the Riley jeans are available in so many different colors and styles. Some of them have rips, some of them don't. So I have Riley jeans in a bunch of different styles. I have them in this darker wash, which is absolutely perfect for the fall time. These were actually my very first pair of a Goldie jeans and they're what kind of sparked my love because they just fit so well. These are also Riley's. They have Riley's and Jamie's and I honestly don't know the difference. I think I have both, but they're pretty much identical. In comparison to the first pair of um, jeans I showed you from a Goldie, these ones go a little bit longer. And I was telling you before about like that little step cut where the front is a little bit shorter. This is where I got the inspo from. I also have a pair of these crossover jeans from a Goldie. And once again, they are just so flattering. And in the back, they have this little detail also where it's a little bit like crisscross. These go a little bit longer and they also have a raw hem. These stretch a ton. I have a few more pairs of a Goldie jean, but if I'm being honest, I just don't wear them as much as my other ones, so I didn't want to include them in this video. If you wanted a more oversized fit, I really like the 90s denim. It is definitely very oversized, so I would recommend sizing down in those. Those are very oversized, so I would recommend sizing down in those. I got a size 24. And the last pair of jeans I want to talk about are these girlfriend denim jeans, and I have to say these might be the most flattering jeans I own. None of the jeans I mentioned in this video have a lot of stretch to them. I actually don't love jeans that feel kind of like jeggings. I prefer a little bit more of a stiff denim, but these are so comfy. They are so flattering, especially on your booty. So they do have some rips in them, but Girlfriend Denim is another great brand. They have so many different options and different styles and different colors and different lengths. Whatever you are looking for, they probably have a pair of jeans for you. They are a little bit of a splurge, but like I said, they will last you for a really, really long time. All right, you guys, so that is it for my jean favorites video. I hope this was a little bit helpful. As you can see, when I find a pair of jeans I love, I stick with it and buy it in every color. I will leave all of the jeans I mentioned in this video down below along with the sizes I got them in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.